Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayum and on this channel, I provide you with the information and inspiration that you need to overcome adversity. Today, I want to speak to you on a topic I titled, Adversity, a stopping stone or a stepping stone. James and John were twins. They were raised by their dad, who happened to be an alcoholic. They lost their mom when they were just four years old. And because of their dad's alcoholism, he often came back most nights drunk. And without any justifiable reason, he would just beat them up. So they lived in constant fear. And they also lacked most basic needs because their dad was always in debt and they never had enough. John hated his dad's lifestyle so much that he chose to work very hard and he became a very successful businessman. James, on the other hand, felt helpless and he could not stand on his feet even in his adult life. He had to depend on his twin brother most of the time. The same circumstances different outcome actually this story was made up by me but there are very similar stories that we hear and play out around us all the time sometimes you look at yourself and your siblings you grew up under the same circumstances the same parent the same environment but everyone turns out to be different so what is the reason the reason is that one person chose to make adversity a stopping stone why the other chose to make adversity a stepping stone that was the case with john and james why john chose to make adversity a, a, a stepping stone james chose to make adversity a stopping stone because when both of them were asked john's reply was with the kind of father that i had what do you expect me to do I don't have any choice than to work hard and defile the lifestyle that he lived. And John, James, on the other hand, when he was asked, his reply was the same. With the kind of father that I had, what do you expect? How, what do you, how do you expect me to, to, to make it with the kind of father and the circumstances that I grew up with? So what makes adversity a stopping stone? That is what I want us to pull out from the story that I've just shared with us. Adversity can become a stopping stone. Number one, when you embrace a victim mentality. A victim mentality is when you feel that you become a victim of a circumstance. You feel that you cannot help yourself. You feel, you feel helpless. You feel that the circumstance dictates your outcome. This is what we saw with James. He embraced a victim mentality. And as a result of that, when adversity knocked him down, in quote, when the circumstances under which he was brought up was not favorable, when his father's lifestyle was not favorable in raising him to be a responsible person, he let that keep him down. And because of that, he did not make anything good out of his life. So when we embrace a victim mentality, we make adversity a stopping stone. Remember in one of my videos, I said adversity is unavoidable. Everyone experiences adversity. Everyone gets knocked down in life. But you are the one that choose whether to make adversity a stopping stone or to make it a stepping stone we can also make adversity a stopping stone when we shy away from responsibilities many times when things happen to us in life yes there are reasons why those things have happened but if you choose to blame that reason you make adversity a stopping stone Whatever life has thrown at you, you are the one that decides what you do with it. 
So when you shy away from your responsibility, you refuse to take responsibility for the circumstances or the things that have happened to you. You look for people or you look for situation to blame. Then you make adversity a stopping stone. Remember, I'm not denying the fact that those stumbling blocks are there. But I'm saying that you are the one that chooses whether they remain a, stumb a stumbling block or whether they become a stepping stone. You are the one that chooses whether those blocks or those stones are going to stop you or whether they are going to help you to move to a higher level. When we embrace helplessness, we feel that the situation that is happening to us or that is happening around us is outside of our control. And as a result of that, there's nothing that we can do about it. So that helplessness makes us to make adversity a stopping stone. I've heard somebody say that each time you are determined, obstacles give way. Actually, the person says obstacles give way to determined people. So whatever situation that you find yourself, when you make up your mind, those obstacles will give way. So again, it's a choice to make your adversity a stopping stone or a stepping stone. Adversity can also become a stopping stone when we have made mistakes and we beat ourselves down and we cannot move beyond our mistake. Each time we, we think of going forward, we look around us and we see the mess that we have made and we just get stuck in that mess, in that mistake. You can learn from your mistakes and move forward or you can choose to perpetually beat yourself down and get stuck in whatever mistake or mess that you have made. Adversity, the challenges of life, whatever you go through in life can be a stopping stone or it can be a stepping stone. The choice is yours. I'm going to round up by giving us this quote. The quote is by Ben Carson, the author of The Big Picture. So this quote is from his book. He says, a victim walking through sand looks down and he sees dirt. While a victor walking through sand looks down and see the ingredients for building a castle. What choice are you going to make? Are you going to use the sand around you? Are you going to just see them as dirt that stops you from moving forward? Or are you going to see them as ingredients for building a castle? Remember, the choice is yours to make adversity a stopping stone or a stepping stone. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this video has blessed you, please like and share with your network so that they also can be blessed. And don't forget to also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not yet done so, so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And please share your comments as well. So take care and I'll see you again next week.